Okay, and we start with the Sefer Shmiras Kloshon. We're on page two or three. And the topic is tragedy of strife. There is something most astonishing about those who are bent towards strife. If child uh, of this, uh, one of these people would be uh, slightly injured by someone, even unintentionally, the father would castigate the culprit with fury. If child would be hurt intentionally and become uh, bedridden because of his wounds, the angry father would publicly denounce the attacker, even after the child had recovered as a cruel, violent individual. The father would not rest until he felt that he had dealt uh, a guilty party a blow commensurate with the callous deeds. The men of strife uh, would harbor it, uh, eternal hatred toward the person who caused his child, child harm. Wow, that's, uh, this is mind-blowing example, the way I see it. Eh? So they, 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 they treat each other like um, this uh, um, party of, of the strife, like uh, is one, uh, one party uh, injured a child of, of, of another party. So of course the father would be crazy, like, uh, and he would do whatever he wants. Uh, he he, 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 he thinks it's, uh, it's necessary to do to, to humiliate, to do whatever needs to be done with the attacker. All right? Okay. So let's see. As stated above, even infants may be included in divine retribution, made it out of those who are parted, uh, uh, who are parties to the strike. Okay, so as we said, even infants, an example we gave uh, was a Korah, when uh, his, uh, his children were, were killed, and all of other children of other people were killed. So I think we learned, or we did not, so I'm going to tell you now. So it says that um, every man should die for his sins. I thought it says every man should die for his sins. So what does it mean? So it's man. So I say, well, what do you mean man? Man, literally man. It's a boy after 13 years old. So before that, he's not man. So meaning what? That he's going to die for his father's sin. So he's a property of his father. And it's very simple, that uh, very easy that he can die because of his foolish father. Right? That's what it, they say here. Yet man of strife does not consider for a moment that he himself brings untold, un, uh, untold harm and even death, heaven for faith, upon the children because of his sinful way, his sinful way, exactly. So this uh, this man, right, this father, whatever, right. So he brings uh, uh, the punishment and a total harm to his own family. Forget about other family, his own family, right? Tragically, it is a way of the quarrels to involve their wives, children, and other relatives in the dispute. So the, so they would tell, tell uh, this child, do not talk to this guy, don't. Don't be friends with this guy. Don't say hello to this, to this rabbi, that rabbi. So basically, that's uh, that's what's going on. Such way is a way of the sun and Adiram. As the Torah states, the sun and Adiram went and out erect uh, at the entrance of their tents with their wives, children, and infants. <clears throat> says Barmimba, sixteen twenty seven. So right, went erect, arrogant. And uh, the end was that uh, the whole household was uh, erased. Um, thus, it is written: the children, um, the children greater the wood. God, I'm sorry, the children gather the wood, but it is the father who ignites the fire. Yirmiyahu uh, seven eighteen. Interesting. Yirmiyahu. Yirmiyahu. Okay, I just bought Yermiyahu seven minutes ago. Okay, they have twenty percent off in our school. Okay, uh, the evil, uh, the evil inclination blinds uh, these people so that they, um, so they, th they and their loved one stumble into abyss below. Okay, so children gather the wood. I mean, they didn't do anything, right? But father starts the fire. And guess what? Everybody's going to suffer. All right. We stop here.